What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of All the Mods Expert Mode. Oh, yeah, guys. So, what we need to do today, we need to start working on getting through Batania. Now, in order to get through Batania, we needed to have emerald fragments. And in order to get emerald fragments, that means we got to do bees. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and power through these as fast as I can, but I don't want to do everything off camera. Uh, so, as I've done it before in the past, so I just kind of set up a little board here like a notice board so we can kind of track our progress and what we need to do so not every one of these slots here needs to be filled like first of all these hive bees at the very start these are basically free these are the bees that we get just from finding them in the world so those are already taken care of same thing with this one so that's a free slot so those three we don't even need anymore but we do have to breed these two together two hive bees to try and get ourselves a common bee now, there is a percent chance that we will get a common bee. There's also a percent chance that we won't get a common bee. But what we're going to do is we're going to use these apiaries here in conjunction with our acceleration wand, which will make this super fast to try and power through this in record time. <laughs> That's the idea anyway. Uh, but yeah, so we need to take two bees, breed into the common. We need to take that common, breed it back with one of those hive bees. Then we get a chance for it cultivated. We need to take the cultivated, breed it with the common, right? Cultivated and common, breed those two together. We have a chance of getting a diligent. We also have a chance of getting a noble, so it kind of forks. So we have to do this one a few times to try and get both. Uh, I'm sorry, we have to do this one a few times to try and get both the diligent and the noble, right? Uh, once we get the diligent, we can bring that together with the cultivated to try and get unwary and the unwary with the diligent to try and get the industrious. This is the end of the line that we need to do. This is going to help us unlock getting gender street, which will make this all super, super simple. So industrious, right? Uh, the other fork, we need to take our noble with the, I'm sorry. Yeah. The common and cultivated can make a noble as well. Noble goes with the cultivated tray and make a majestic majestic goes with the noble and imperial. Once we get the imperial and the industrious, that's it. That's all we have to do. And then we have the ability to use gender street, which no more chance, no more using the acceleration one, feed it RF, you can use the upgrades and this process is like instantaneous, it's amazing. So first of all, we need to get ourselves a flower and a couple of bees, so let's see if we can get this to happen first of all. And I wanna make sure that the wand is gonna work and all that stuff. Now one of the biggest problems that we're gonna have at the start here is selecting a princess. These are ignoble stock, and I don't know if in this mod pack ignoble stock can go away. By default, the ignoble stock, yeah, and they have like a, a percent chance that every time they breed, that the queen just dies off and you don't have a queen anymore. So you pretty much always want to use pristine stock. So we have one pristine meadows here, and then we need a drone of a different type. Uh, let's use a forest drone. That should be fine. So we can breed those together and we get a percent chance of getting the common bee. So that's going to be our first breed. And then also we want to get ourselves a flower of some description, a poppy. That'll work. We just have to have one flower nearby. Okay, so these bees don't work at night. They don't work in the rain. <laughs> they don't work underground. So yeah, that's why we're outside. We have to select a biome that's going to be appropriate. That's why we're over there by our berry bushes, because this is a plains biome, which is very, very forgiving for a lot of the different bees. But yeah, we can put this princess in here and this drone. We'll put a flower nearby to make them happy so they'll work, right? And then normally this process will take like 15 minutes, but we can speed that up significantly with our acceleration wand. Um, just gotta keep holding shift, I suppose. So yeah, we can see the progress bar there at the top, like how fast that's going. Now it's not as fast as I would like. I really would like this to go a lot faster. But my goodness, this is so much faster than the way I've done it before in the past by using chocolate frames or whatever, which don't even exist in this mod pack, unfortunately. So there we go. We successfully bred the Meadows Princess with a forest uh, drone. We ended up with a forest princess and a Meadows drone. So now we got to put those back together and do it all over again. So this is going to take a minute. As you guys can see, <laughs> it's not going to be super, super interesting. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do this and try and bust through these as fast as possible. I will bring you guys back in for periodic updates if anything interesting does happen. But yep, this is what I'm going to be doing for the next few minutes. 
All right, guys. So as I was sitting there breeding them, those bees, I remembered that we should probably make a pretty important item from forestry as well. So we know if the bee mutated and maybe it's half common or whatever, we need to be able to tell, right? So what we need to do is get ourselves a portable analyzer. So this is different than what I've used before. Before we had a bee laser and a tree laser. This one looks like this is used for bees, trees, and butterflies. Okay, so we need to get ourselves a portable analyzer with two buckets of water. We need tin, and diamond, redstone, glass panes. Seems pretty easy. So a diamond, two redstone. Uh, I think it was tin. I think it was four tin. And what else? Two glass panes. And we already have some of those ready to go. Awesome. Okay. So I just made another carpenter over here. I was thinking we were probably going to make a few of these anyway, so we can automate making the forestry circuits in the future. So it's not really that big of a deal to use another one here. I can't really use our other carpenter that we have <laughs> over here because this is full of biomass and I don't want to lose that stuff. So anyway, we can put all this stuff here and then we need to click a bucket of water on there. And I think we have a tank right there. There we go. There's two, bu whoop, two buckets of water. So it is now making this guy. And I believe we can also speed that process up with this thing. There you go. Portable analyzer. Now the portable analyzer does require honey drop. So you have to take combs that you've already found before, put them through a centrifuge to get the honey drops. And then with that, you can take any of your bees and drop them into a little question mark area and it'll tell you about them. So you can see this bee says it's a forest drone, but it's actually half forest, half meadows. Now it is possible for it to be half forest, half common. And if that's the case, you kind of want to hold on to that until you have another half, whatever, half common. Try and breed those together and then hopefully get a full common. So anyway, very useful to have this bee elizer. Very useful to have these honey drops. I don't know if we have any additional... Actually, I should probably fill that up. I don't know if we have any additional combs. That was the only honey that we had in the system. Uh, how are we doing combs? If I spell it right... We do have some, not a lot. I might have to go out into the wild and find some more bees to, or I guess some more hives to try and get more princesses out of. Uh, hopefully the ones that are not ignoble, the ones that are pristine. And we, you normally get a honeycomb out of each one of those. Uh, it looks like the honey drop is like a percent. Oh no, no, no. I think the honey drop is hundred percent. The centrifuge has kind of changed a little bit. It does it twice per comb to get a chance of each of the items. I don't know. It's weird. Anyway, I got to get back to our bees because this is going to take a long time <laughs> and I want to get it done sometime today. All right, guys. So here's an update on the bee situation. We, we haven't gotten our common bee yet, but I realized that just seeing their holding right click with the acceleration wand wasn't making it go as fast as I wanted it to go. So I decided to automate this process a little bit. So we have a mechanical user, uh, we have vibrant capacitor bank, and then we have a dimensional transceiver to fill that vibrant capacitor bank. Uh, we have the acceleration wand in the mechanical user set to use item on block, right click, upper left hand slot only. This is where the wand gets placed back in. Uh, when it reaches all the way to 400 energy remaining, it can't work anymore. So then it gets extracted over into the vibrant capacitor bank, which charges it. And then when it's fully charged, it gets pushed right back in here. So this is going pretty quickly. Uh, so let's take a look at this. So we have a forest princess. Let's place that here. And we'll put in a meadows drone, right? So you can see that is going significantly faster. And the best part is, since I want this to go as fast as possible, I don't have to click off the screen. I don't have to click on the wand. I don't have to shift right click on anything. It just happens automatically now, which is fantastic. So again, I'm just going to continue doing this until we get the bees that we need. And then we'll be back guys. All right, guys. So I got another update for you. So you can see we got our common bees filled out there quite nicely. So we took the common with the hive bee and we have now gotten cultivated drones. Now, the way I like doing this is when I get a bee, I want to make sure it's purebred. So it's always going to be like common, common, cultivated, cultivated, etc. If you have like a common meadows bee and you try and breed that with something, it's possible it'll spawn some other type of a bee that you don't want, right? So 
Uh, I set this up to be automated right here. We have it automatically extracting out of the hive and putting it to the top. And I do that only when we get to the point where we have bees that stack. Now you can see this is going quite quickly. Now I did go ahead and make another acceleration wand. <laughs> this was, it felt like it was going too slow. This is going quite fast now. So you can see I am in the process of taking our cultivated bees and multiplying them. So we're still using that same pristine bee. I got the common one. We made the princess a purebred common. And then I bred that up a whole lot of times. So we got these right here. Those are purebreds. Uh, then I upgraded it to a cultivated bee. We got that purebred. We got stacking drones. Now we're doing this over and over again. So we get a nice stockpile of these drones. Now, the reason why you want these, if you breed the bee and your princess turns into something else that you don't want, and then you don't have a way to convert it back into that cultivated or whatever to try again, you're going to have to start over. So you don't want to do that. You want to make sure you get a bunch of these guys so you can duplicate your princess once again, I guess, stamp it back with whatever the traits were on these drones, and then you can try your breeding process over so yeah, that's what we're doing at this point. So if ever this bee turns into something else, they can just put it back in this apiary with like 16 of these purebred cultivated drones and it'll definitely convert it. And then it'll start making more drones again that will stack with the others when it gets to that point. So anyway, we are <laughs> well on our way here. We can take some of these drones, these cultivated, and we can fill out our board here. So we got the cultivated, we got the cultivated. Next step is to breed the common with the cultivated, try and get a diligent. Yeah, that is going to be the next step. Uh, we can also put the common with the cultivated and attempt to get the noble. We don't really know which one we're going to get. So we just got to keep doing it until we get one or the other and then do it until we get the other. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to continue on with this process. We're getting lots of combs here, which is great. Yep. Let me continue on and we'll be back guys. All right, guys. So we got another progress update for you. Uh, previously I was using the item conduit going out the side and into the top, but then I remember that these conduits on the extract have a self feed option. So what that is essentially the same thing as what I'm doing. It pulls down and pushes back in if the block will accept those items. So that's perfect for duplicating bees. Now I just put in one unwary and I put in one diligent, right? Yeah. Diligent and one unwary. And our very first breed, we got an industrious princess. So that's the end of the line. Uh, we got to make sure that that thing is, you know, purebred or whatever. So industrious, diligent, it is not that those are both. Okay. All three of these are half breeds, which is fantastic. So we can put those back in together. Hopefully we will end up with a pure breed, but this item right here, the pollen cluster, this is the item that we are looking for. These are going to allow us to make slime balls. No, they're going to allow us to, uh, make the scented panelings, which go into the alveary blocks. We need four scented panelings and four of the impregnated casings for an alveary block. But the alveary block, we're not going to make an alveary. We're going to use that to immediately go to industrial apiary. This is the RF version of this particular thing. <laughs> and you can put in upgrades that you can simulate different biomes. Uh, you can increase the production rate, the lifespan, all those things. I think for the, the general breeding that this is going to be the best part, or I guess the, the better way of doing it. Uh, but for when we actually have the bees set up and we want them, uh, to produce stuff, the industrial apiary is where we're going to be putting those bees. But anyway, uh, let's check these out real quick. So we did, Oh, we got a purebred. Okay. So second one, purebred, uh, I'm wary and wary. Uh, okay. So we can put them with, this one or this one and hopefully it will produce more purebred offspring there's a chance we could lose it and we'll have to do it again that looks pretty good try again industrious and diligent purebred drone okay we're gonna put those two together and hopefully again we'll get some purebreds here yeah it's just kind of like a little game you got to play around with it until you get them purebred and then you gotta get the the offspring to stack all right. So again, the glowing ones go together. Come on. Oh, that's looking much better, but they still could be half breeds, right? So that's pure bread. That's half that's pure. So these two are now going together forever. Cool. So now we have the industrious ones. I still need to go back and redo, 
Uh, the common cultivated. We got the diligent that time, but we now we need to get the noble. We did get a half breed noble, a common noble, but yeah, we need to get a full breed one and then continue on this line. Just a few more breeds. We're almost there. All right, guys. So it looks like we have now finished up. We finally got our imperial. We got our majestic. We got our noble. Yeah, those are the bees that we were missing here, and we have now filled out the entire board. So the bees that we really need were the industrious and the imperial. So yes, that's where we are at right now. I'm currently taking our imperial bee, which ended up losing its uh, special effect, which is supposed to be an AOE region. It lost that effect during the breeding process, which is, you know, unfortunate. It's not the end of the world. We don't really need the region from the specific bee. But with Gendistry, when we get up to that, we'll be able to re-go through and breed all these bees so they have all the default traits. Then we can get those traits off if we want them. That's only if we want to do that. Uh, so this one's just about done now, filling up to about a stack. You can see you got all these other guys over here, a little bit over a stack and then wary, but that's fine. I guess we can turn that off now. Okay, so now we have the Royal Jelly. Uh, we have the pollen from the other bee, so we should be able to make these scented panelings, which do require the pollen cluster, the royal jelly, some type of planks, beeswax, which we're getting from the combs, and then honey, 500 honey per scented paneling. So that's five honey drops or honey dew, right? Uh, these guys here, I think we're using honey dew. Yeah. Uh, we're getting those from the dripping combs and these honey drops come from the other ones. So we need five of these squeezed out. You get a hundred millibuckets per one. Uh, so we can do one of those scented paneling. So that's going to be the next task that we need to do. Uh, so are we cleaned up here? I guess I can leave these bees here for the time being. Don't really need to farm them because I don't think we're going to need that much of the pollen and the royal jelly. Okay, so we need to get ourselves a squeezer, which I do believe we've already had before, right? Yeah, we got a squeezer here. And then we got a carpenter here. So this was a carpenter that we set up earlier to make our bee laser. We're going to repurpose that for making the scented panelings, I do believe. So again, royal jelly and pollen. So royal jelly here. We need wood, we need the pollen, and we need the wax. We have 38 of those. Let's grab some planks. Oak should be just fine. And the wax that we've been getting from centrifuging those combs. Okay, so speaking about that, since this does take a minute, I'll go and throw some more of these dripping combs in there. Awesome. All right, so we can put... It'll probably be a good idea to get ourselves another socket thing. We have put one of those in this centrifuge here, but yeah, that definitely makes us go faster. <laughs> All right, so we'll put 10 of those in there. That should give us enough for two recipes. So actually, we'll need another 10... I guess that's going quick enough for what we need to do. Okay, so we'll set this recipe, put those in there, set that recipe, put that there, and the pollen and the royal jelly. Cool. So now we need to get the fluid from here over into this one, so that's pretty simple to do. We'll just grab ourselves some fluid conduit, and we should be able to extract the fluid from the squeezer and put it into our carpenter. So we will always active extract and then insert. Okay, so now we got over a, well, we got a bucket and a half of honey in there. So we're making our very first scented paneling. I think we can speed that up with the acceleration wand, although both of my acceleration wands are outside. So we're probably just going to end up waiting on this. Okay, so now that those are being done, we need the impregnated casing, which does require a seed oil. I don't remember if we ever did that. No, we didn't. So we were going to look at this marketplace. I had brought that up kind of as an aside earlier on a few episodes ago. Uh, let's grab some emerald. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to grab. I, th I think it's this one. No, that's almond peppercorn. One of these is a walnut. Oh, here we go. I think it's one of these nutmeg chestnut chestnut works fine. So we need three of those, buy it. Okay, so chestnut sampling, and then we're gonna want some bone meal. Let's grab some bones as well, and we'll just do that. Okay, that's fine. So upstairs, looks like we're gonna have to sleep nighttime. Uh, upstairs, yeah, we're gonna want to plant this sapling here, and then bone meal the nut on it. 
to get a whole lot of those because those will give us way more seed oil than using like regular wheat seeds. Okay, so it's bone meal, you and chestnuts. Okay, chestnuts, four days. That's fantastic. I honestly don't know how many of these we need. And if I need more, I can always come out here and hold down right click once again to grab a few, but I might as well just go ahead and, you know, get like a stack, stack and a half, something like that. Just so I, I, I'm pretty sure I won't need to come back up here every two minutes, right? All right, so that should be a good amount of those. Oh, it was only a stack plus one. I thought that was more. Okay, well, that should still be fine. Uh, where's my, my downstairs warp? Okay, so now we got our chestnut. We need to make the impregnated casing. So again, in the carpenter, we need to squeeze some of that seed oil. And the chestnuts here, if we go to the uses in the squeezer, gives 150 millibuckets, whereas like a wheat seed gives us 10 millibuckets. So this is 15 times faster than using one of those. <laughs> okay, so yes, we want to make these impregnated casings, so we need at least 32 logs. So let's grab half a stack of oak wood, that's good. This should be done by now. Yeah, there's four of our scented paneling. We can turn off that recipe, set a new one. Okay, and then we will put our chestnuts over here. Now, I don't know exactly how many we need. That's probably gonna be enough, I think. How much was it per? I don't remember now. Let's take a look again. It is 250, so one of those is 150. Uh, so yeah, just under 10 chestnuts, I think, is what we're gonna need to get these all done. Cool, so we got 600 seed oil remaining. Uh-huh. All right, so we'll go ahead and let that finish up. We'll make this recipe for the alveary, and we'll look at making our industrial apiary. All right, guys, well, I went ahead and I made a few more of the scented panelings and a little bit more of the impregnated casing. I was kind of looking ahead, and the Gendistry machines, like the upgrades for this, are going to require more alveary blocks per upgrade. Yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead. Let's make our first... Let's make our first industrial apiary together. So there's an apiary, two intricate circuit boards, four gold ingots, one of the alveary blocks, and this B receptacle, which is just bronze, glass pane, uh, gold pressure plate, and two redstone. So that's pretty easy, that little guy right there. But there we go, industrial apiary. So this thing is really, really good for mass producing bees. And right clicking, that took a minute. So yeah, like I said, you can put in the upgrades in here, right? Uh, you put in your bees, you can set it up to be an automatic, automated self-feeding system. So as the bees finish their breeding, they'll just go right back in and continue breeding. I'm noticing that there is this thing up here. <laughs> Not sure why that thing is flashing or doing whatever. So this thing says always on, I guess this is supposed to be some kind of an error notification. So it says no queen, it says no power. This requires 20 RF per tick. And that does increase with all the different various upgrades. So if we go to the Gendistry section of JEI, we can kind of see these different upgrades. So lifespan upgrade is a thing that we're going to want to kill the bees off faster. Um, I'm trying to decide if this is going to be super necessary without the acceleration one killing the bees off go pretty slowly. With this, you can see that the lifespan is decreased by 33% and you can do it up to four times. So that's quite a lot of uh, health reduction. Uh, things we are gonna want though, are like the rain protection so the bees can work in the rain. Eventually we will be able to breed in the trait where the bees don't care if it's raining. We'll be able to breed in the trait that the bees don't care if there's flowers nearby. We can have it so they like stone, right? We can have it so they don't care about the humidity or all of this stuff. These are different things that we're going to be doing. The production upgrade, though, this is definitely one that we're going to want. Uh, so the bees will produce more. <laughs> so, yes, uh, that requires an upgrade frame. Each one of these requires this. And each upgrade frame does require two Terra Steel Nuggets, mm -hmm, Alveary Block, and then some aluminum and the resonating redstone crystal. I still don't know why my grid power is so out of whack like that. <laughs> it should not be producing that much or using that much. But yeah, it's kind of gone a little wonky on us. 
So anyway, we're going to need at least eight more of these Alviary blocks to get the full production upgrades going on in there. Yeah, so it's a little bit of stuff that we need to do here. You can also change the biome. So certain bees only work like in the nether, for instance. So you can put in the hell emu emulation upgrade and then the bee will think that it's in the nether. So yeah, but like I said, each one of these does require the upgrade frame, which requires the Terra Steel and the Alviary. So they're a little expensive. So I just, I definitely want to make sure I don't make too many of those things unless we find a way that we can copy them. Maybe those will work with the UU matter. I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. Uh, definitely a possibility, but now that we got these, we have access to the industrial apiary. We can start looking at all these other gender two machines that we made so long ago. And then I got stuck. It's like, Oh, we have to do all the vanilla bee breeding. Well, let's work on the acceleration wand. And then, yeah, about 20 episodes later, here we are. So we can start working on these things. We'll probably look at this maybe next episode. Uh, the other thing that I want to do, uh, I want to look at how to get to the emerald fragment, right? So we need these in order to get the Batania pylons to fight the guardian of Gaia and so on. The emerald fragment is made by these crystal grains, and these are made only from the crystal propolis. You have a 60% chance and a 30% chance every time you centrifuge one of these. Uh, that comes from the crystal comb, which is only a 50% chance to drop one of these. <laughs> but yeah, the crystal comb comes from the quartz, the certus, the redstone, emerald, diamond, ruby, sapphire, and appetite bees. Now, I was going through these earlier, and I think the redstone might have been the easiest... No. Quartz B. One of these was pretty simple to get to. Sinister Lapis. Might not be these. Well, the emerald itself, just to get the emerald, we needed the Imperial B, which we just made today, plus a redstone B. The redstone comes from a steadfast, which I think only comes from. I think this only comes from like dungeons. No, only comes from the end city. I think we did farm up some of those. So we have the steadfast. Uh, we're going to need the obsidian, which again requires the steadfast and a hardened bee. The hardened is a rocky, that's a hive bee, plus a cultivated. So there's a little bit more bee breeding <laughs> that we need to do, but we'll have access to like all of these different uh, gender stream machines. And in fact, now that I'm thinking about it, we might have been able to use some of these in order to breed up some of these bees earlier. Hmm. Anyway, we got to where we needed to be. Using the Wands of Acceleration definitely was quite quick to breed all those bees. So regardless if we could have used the Mutatron or whatever, yeah, we were able to do that in relatively short time. I think when I've done that before, and I've set up multiple apiaries and tried to do it the vanilla forestry way, it's taken me five or six hours to do. I think today took me about an hour and a half to two hours. So it wasn't that bad. Very happy about it using those Acceleration Wands. But anyway, guys, we're going to go and wrap the episode up here for today. Again, we'll be checking out uh, some more of this stuff probably next episode. Fair warning for those of you who aren't interested in bees, I guess. Uh, but yeah, we definitely need those emerald fragments as part of the progression in order to open up the elven portal and fight the Gaia boss. But anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on the episode if you liked it. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.